Today is Tuesday, March 7, 2017, and today we're talking about Dr. Ben Carson, the current HUD secretary, and his comments that were made during a speech that has half of the internet just completely incensed, enraged, infuriated even. You got the fake, lamestream news media writing fake stories, misleading stories about them, people making up these silly memes that can't even read themselves. But before we get into all of that, what I want to do right now is show you the video. In this video, you'll be able to see why everybody's upset. And if you're not, or if you just want to talk about it a little bit more, after we get done with the video, I'll come back. I'll explain why everybody's upset. I'll explain my viewpoints on it. And then we'll just break it down a little bit further. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. That's what America is about. A land of dreams and opportunity. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. But they too had a dream that one day their sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, great grandsons, great granddaughters might pursue prosperity and happiness in this land. All right, so you're able to see that. You see what's going on now. As you can see, what he said about slaves being immigrants, people are upset about that because they don't know what the word immigrant means. Now, before we go any further in this video, what I want to do is tell you what the word immigrant means. Are you ready? It means a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. That is it, and that is all. And for this video, for the duration, I'll place a definition right up underneath me, somewhere right around here just so we are on the same page and we don't get too far off track, right? Because that is what we got to be able to understand is the definition of the word. Um, when I said this to people, when I said this, people were like, oh, don't, don't come with that dictionary stuff. It's like, really? Don't come with the dictionary stuff. Don't read books. Don't understand what words mean. Where are we at right now in 2017 United States where we say that reading the dictionary is incorrect for some reason? I don't understand. You see, what he said about slaves being immigrants was 100 percent true, because nowhere in a definition of the word immigrant does it say anything about being voluntary or involuntary. There's all kinds of immigrants. You got asylum seekers, refugees. You got illegal immigrants, legal immigrants, human trafficking victims, all kinds of different things. They're all immigrants. Now, how they got from one place to another is a different story. But the definition of the word still fits. And it's just that simple. People like Samuel L. Jackson getting all incensed and frustrated on Twitter, calling them uh, Uncle Tom and a dickhead and stuff like that. It's like, man, what are you doing? It, why would you do that? Just stick to your movies. Don't try to be politically inclined like that. I don't look to Samuel L. Jackson for any kind of political commentary or banter. So I think you should just be quiet and just stick to making movies. And then you got the guy, Sean King. Now, before I even get into Sean King, I'm upset that I have to continue to talk about this guy. Why is this guy relevant at all? Why are we talking about him? This person is obviously mentally ill. That is Sean King. If you are a white person who is obviously white, obviously white, I'm talking like Nordic white, white as white could be. If you are obviously white and you're pretending to be black, why does anybody take you seriously at all? Why do you have a following at all? It doesn't make any sense, but I digress now. I saw him post a post on Facebook about this, and I'll place that on the screen before you talking about how slaves were not immigrants. It ain't the same thing. This ain't the third. But meanwhile, in an article he wrote maybe about two years ago, one year ago, which I'll place in the box below. But you can see right here on the screen before you what he said. He said very specifically about how slaves were immigrants, even though they were forced. He said it specifically. But now all of a sudden you want to change his tune. Why do you change his tune? It's because it's the proper thing to do. He can't say that which goes against what the liberal narrative is. He'll do anything to virtue signal for liberalism, even changing his race, even when it's obvious that he is not that race. You see, Sean King being black is like me being white. And the truth is, I probably got more white blood in me than he has black blood in him. I, mean, I can show you pictures of my grandparents, of my great grandparents and stuff like that. And you'll be surprised. Just because I'm dark skinned does not mean I don't have any kind of European blood or anything like that. I can show you evidence. Now, if you look at Sean King, his family tree is all white folks. But I'm getting off topic and I digress. Let's get back to Ben Carson and why people are upset. People are upset at Ben Carson because he is a black conservative. That is the only reason 
That is it. And that is all. So they'll find any little thing to get on them about. They'll say, oh, you can't call slaves immigrants. Meanwhile, they won't look at the definition. People that say that and they're upset about Ben Carson. I've gone to their posts and I've said, what is the definition of the word immigrant? Nobody has been able to give me a straight answer. And I challenge anybody that disagrees with me to answer that question straight in the comments below. I challenge it. And I will do a live show here sometime this week. And I will definitely would do it on Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You can call me and we can talk about it. I challenge anyone that had a problem with what Ben Carson said to define what the word means. Just look it up. Just Google it. Just Google the word immigrant and definition of it shall appear, which is right here on the screen before you. So we're on the same page. But look at what Obama did when he went to a black church in 2008 and spoke about black fathers. With his wife and daughters looking on, Obama delivers a broader Father's Day message, calling on fathers, especially in the African-American community, to play a greater role in their children's lives. But if we're honest with ourselves, we'll admit that too many fathers are also missing. Too many fathers are MIA. Too many fathers are AWOL. Missing from too many lives and too many homes. They've abandoned their responsibilities. They're acting like boys instead of men. Even straying from his script to make this point. Any fool can have a child. That doesn't make you a father. He did the same kind of thing at Morehouse where he was scolding them. He was barking on the black male audience at a black college about personal responsibility about you know the importance of fathers black fathers in their household and stuff like that uh talking about get cousin pookie off of the couch don't spend so much time watching sports center etc cetera, etc cetera. can you imagine can you imagine what the utmost the, the furor the the incensed nature of social media black social media and the white liberals would be if ben carson was to do anything close to that at a college commencement speech. I mean, people are still getting on Ben Carson about the pyramids as grain storage comment, talking about he's an idiot for that. Can you imagine if he was to go to a black college and bark on black men about how important it is to be a black father, which is the correct thing to do, by the way. I'm not saying it's not right, but I'm saying if you are a liberal versus conservative, as a black person, you get treated differently. It's really racism. That is the whole thing here. People are racist against black conservatives, and I've seen it. The most racism I ever got in my life was when I decided to become a black conservative, mostly from black folks and also from white liberals and black folks. It's like more comical. They come up with these memes that are barely spelled correctly. Stupid stuff, just like what Samuel L. Jackson did. Stuff like that. That's what you get from black folks. But from white folks, it's more. It take it personal. They feel like, how dare you? How dare you be a black conservative? We've given you everything as liberals. Stay right here in the Democrat liberal plantation with us and don't go and be free. They take it personal. They feel personally offended that you want to do something different other than what they have given you and what they have mandated that you do through many different ways. Right. If you don't want to kill yourself through Planned Parenthood, you're a bigot. If you don't want to have your children go to a failing school or you just hate you just hate uh, the school system, you hate the government, all kind of stupid stuff to come up with to try and keep you right there in the plantation. And that's how it was back in slavery as well. And you know, during slavery, it was not the prototypical um, you know, low IQ redneck or something like that that had slaves. That's how they try to portray it, but that's not what it was. I mean, they got a little bit honest in 12 years of slave where they had the guy, that first slave master. That's how they were. Handsome, clean cut, money. That was a slave master. And that's the same kind of person that today would be like a Hollywood actor buying children from Africa and stuff like that and parading them around like this, some kind of pinata or some kind of fashion accessory. That is a kind of person that would have been a slave master back in the day. That's the same kind of person that's right now speaking out against Ben Carson in the mainstream media and online. But this whole thing is silly. You know, what Ben Carson said was 100% correct. And if you just took a while to listen to the speech in context, which I will place the whole thing in the box below, it was like 30 minutes or more. Check out the full speech. You will enjoy it. If you're a conservative or if you have any kind of brain in your head, you'll enjoy it. But the context with which he was saying the comments was about how far we have come as black people to come from another country to this country at the bottom of a slave ship, the lowest of the low. You couldn't get no lower than that at the at the pit of despair 
to come from that and to become the president, to become the HUD secretary, to become guys that could talk on YouTube freely about news just like me, right? You should be proud of that heritage. You should be proud of that lineage and not be ashamed to say what it is. It's the same kind of way you shouldn't be trying to be white. You shouldn't be trying to be whatever you are, Asian, whatever it is. Don't be ashamed of who you are and look at things for how they were and understand how far we have come. And it's also in my mind, when I first heard it, I'm thinking, OK, this is a way for him to differentiate the Hispanic plight from the black plight because the liberals are trying to conjoin them together. And it's funny how nobody ever gets upset about that on the left, how the left tries to put black and gay and immigrant and all kind of issues together. What Ben Carson was saying was, well, we were immigrants, too, but we came over here against our own free will at the bottom of a slave ship. And we've come up to become something. We still got a lot of problems. We still got a long way to go. But at least we have made that, you know, that 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 leap that not many others have made. We did not just lay down and die and just give up on life. And he said that on Armstrong Williams radio show on XM. And I'll place those comments on the screen before you. He said, basically, look, look up the definition of the word. What does it really mean? That is what we have to understand. What does the word mean? Look it up. If you're an immigrant, you come from one country to another country. That's very simple. See, Ben Carson, he speaks in a way that just makes sense. But some people, that's why people want uh, politicians, you know, and it's funny how I saw some people on the right even kind of questioning them. It was not many of us, obviously. It was mostly those on the left that were questioning Ben Carson, but some even on the right did it. And they were saying, oh, his word choice, stuff like that. But it's like, look, people that have these uh, these fantastic word choices to make people feel comfortable that are not very intelligent or want to look at his words in a different way other than what they were. People like that that are able to speak like that or do that all the time. Those are your average everyday politicians that are trained to speak that way. Right. And we said we don't want politicians. We don't want people to be politically correct. But then when somebody says something that's outside of the realm of what we're used to hearing from a politician, then we're upset. Then we get triggered. Like I said, it was not many of us on the right. It was about 99 percent from the left. But anybody on the right that got a problem with what Ben Carson said, you have to be ashamed of yourself, because if you voted for Trump, you voted for something that was going to be against the PC nature. So if Trump is filling the cabinet with people that are anti PC, you should be appreciative of that rather than being critical. And those on the left is mostly just racism, especially from the white liberals. How dare you lead the Democrat plantation? And on the black liberal side, they don't even understand what's going on. They don't even really know what the words mean. And that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I say shout out to Ben Carson for what he said. What he said made perfect sense. It was an inspirational speech. If you have not seen it, I implore you to go check it out in the description box below and have that be that. So that's all I got to say about it. I mean, what said you? Do you think that his comments were taken out of context intentionally because he is a black conservative? If he was a black liberal, let's say he was Barack Obama or Cory Booker or something like that. Do you think that it would have been this much anger, this much angst, this much furor? Do you think that that would have happened? Do you think that Ben Carson is just an idiot? Even though he's a brain surgeon, literally, right? He separated conjoined twins. He's a world famous brain surgeon. Had a movie made about him years and years ago before he even came into, the, uh, into politics. Do you think he's an idiot? Now, if you think that, then I have to assume that your IQ is higher than his some kind of way. Maybe you're a PhD. Maybe you've separated conjoined twins before. Maybe that's what happened, but I doubt it. But whatever your comments are, positive or negative, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.